Rainbow trout is not native to the tropical climate of Thailand, but experimental farming of the Doi Intanon Royal Project has succeeded in producing enough of the fish for sale all year round, while also generating income for the people in the highlands of northern Thailand. Kun Thanagorn Sangiam has the details. Rainbow trout is being farmed at the Doi Intanon Royal Project in Chiang Mai, in the northern region of Thailand. Rainbow trout are native to cold water streams and rivers along the Pacific Ocean in Asia and North America. It has a lifespan of up to 11 years. What gives this fish its name is the rainbow stripe on both sides of its body. Rainbow trout is a very popular fish ditch, but the high demand for the fish has resulted in trout fishing for consumption being made illegal in some countries, such as the United States. Artificial propagation and fish farming have become a way to mass-produce the rainbow trout, allowing the fish to be farmed away from its natural habitat. Rainbow trout farming in the Doi Intanon Royal Project started in 1973, with successful propagation in 1998. Now, the farm can produce up to 300 kilograms of trout per month all year round. The key factors for successful rainbow trout farming are the pond's hygiene and the circulation of cold water from a natural source. It is unlikely that the fish would cause any harm to the local ecology as they would not survive in the natural environment in Thailand. With much care by the Doi Intanon Royal Project staff, farm trout here can grow even bigger than wild trout as they receive adequate food and proper care against diseases, packing them with more flesh than trout in the wild. Due to the fact that the rainbow trout is not a native fish here in Thailand, consumption relies heavily on imports from foreign countries. The rainbow trout farming project helps reduce the need for imports by producing them domestically. The Doi Intanon Royal Project also produces smoked trout and trout roe for the market, where visitors can order trout dishes at the restaurant inside the Royal Agriculture Station. The project is a model of new farming techniques that allow fish from foreign places to be cultivated safely in different climates and conditions. It helps reduce the cost of fish for consumption especially imports of exotic global delicacies. Tanakon Singyam reporting.